How's it going guys? Welcome back to Hive Swap Act 2. Looking at early feedback for the game now that it's been out for 12 hours or something. People are spending like 8 hours on this game. It's a lot longer than I thought. The first one took me 4 hours and that's me playing the game slow. So I really gotta, you know, like crack on if I wanna, if I wanna get through all this. I don't think as a Canadian I can say a phrase like crack on. I've been watching too much British TV lately. Mostly Taskmaster. Nothing but Taskmaster. It's so realistic. Is it a statue or taxidermy? It'd be weird if taxidermy had that much patches on it. It's a creepy thing as is. And then if you patch it up like that and give it lips and no no, I, I hate it. Taxidermy? Uh, geez. How do I even explain this? Is it complicated? N not really. I just hate it. It's when you kill an animal, take out its insides, and stuff the corpse with fabric? Then you display it in your house in a sick display of dominance over nature. Oh, you mean like taxidermiation? Taxidermiation. Demeritation. It's almost a word. Taxidermiation. Taxa de meritation. It's when an imperial soldier gets demerited so hard that they forfeit their right to dignity and death. After they're executed, the Empress has their chitin, chitin, chitin stuffed and placed in her personal trophy room. We got through that eventually. See, it could always get worse. If you say so. A girl I worked with volunteered at the museum like the natural museum and part of her job was to taxidermy the birds for display and when she described it it sounded almost like relaxing if a little uncomfortable it get, takes some getting used to no we can't leave without checking everywhere first oh i kind of thought we had and then we were gonna have to move on to the next room these mushrooms are huge your planet has mushrooms of course there's no of courses here. Nothing has made sense. When I was little, my dad taught me how to tell poisonous plants from edible ones in case I ever got lost in the wilderness. <gasps> and now you are! Yeah, but I saw him get sick from something he ate on an adventure so many, so many times that I'm pretty sure he just made it all up. Also, I wouldn't think that those biological rules translate. That's probably why I decided to stop trusting anything he says. Oh, that's very sad. Each new layer of information with Joey and her father is additionally sad. The one thing he's supposed to be good at is trekking through the savage underbrush, and he couldn't even teach me which mushrooms are okay to eat. Uh, well, not these ones. Vine glow mushrooms are the most poisonous fungus in Alternia. If you eat one, it'll rot your stomach. When you touch them, they leave a residue that makes you burn up under moonlight like the sun is still out. Okay, but like, immediately burst into flames like the human torch? Or just like a slow, well for me I'm very ginger, like an immediate sunburn. Or is it like, you know, roasting in an oven? Oh no! But there's another mushroom called the Noble Glow that looks almost exactly the same, like the Noble Glasses, Gases? Probably Noble, not Noble. <laughs> Except that the gills have a subtle fold that grows in the opposite direction. Yeah, but that's like righty tighty lefty loosey, right? It's gonna depend if you're looking at the top or the bottom. It's perspective, man. The only way you can tell the difference is by laying flat on your back beneath the, mu beneath the mushroom and checking your global coordinates to make sure you've got the right one. Couldn't you just touch it to see if it burns? You're right. <laughs> I'll do that right away. Sephiroth, no! I was kidding! Oh, but that, just because of the positioning of everything, he immediately walked over there anyways. Looked like he was gonna touch it. Could we rip the horns? off these little tiny dolls there. You could just be a troll who has very tiny horns, is like self-conscious about it, and so if anyone points it out, like draws attention to it, you make them feel like a jerk. Then you're, then no one will ever question it, right? 
Oh, I guess the main thing is gonna be getting up and over here. Because there was a the whole thing about the, I don't know, the string of lights or whatever. Can I feed this weird piece of art? Don't be wasteful. Pogs are already art enough. A little spice never hurt anything. Depends, like, don't want to get it in your eyes or anything. That would hurt buyers. There's nothing in this that's going to help. I have no idea how that's going to... Well, it's like a monster, or seemingly a monster, so I thought, you know, maybe like a monster guide or something would help in some way. Have we checked everywhere at this point? Are we allowed to go? No, not yet. Oh, okay, they're, they're just to the right here. I guess where the spiky vine is. And I got an achievement, Cave Explorer. A barnacle so far away from the ocean. Yeah, these things have a mind of their own. That? That's the barnacle? Uh, don't touch it, please. Is it poisonous? It's super poisonous. You'll excrete blood from the pores in your chitin until you die if you touch it. Gee, I don't want to know what it does to people without chitin. Is everything on this planet poisonous? Are you poisonous? Hmm, you would have to eat him to find out. Good question. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, what a relief. I meant to humans. Oh, do you want to test it too? Here, Joey, lick my arm. No, no, that's fine. I think we'll just leave it as is. Well, with that, did we explore enough? We checked everywhere. Man, there was an achievement <laughs> for it and everything. You, those are really gooey, and they look like something from an underwater nature special. This, like, crafts table seems like the best bet, and I, I just can't even do anything with it. This artist made us think about all that from just looking at an unfinished piece. They must be a genius. How can you tell it's unfinished? I kind of think the important thing about art is what the person looking at it comes up with themselves, not what the artist thought. Is that like looking straight at the camera like a commentary about this game series and Homestuck as a whole? So that was all you, Zephros. It's fine, you guess. <laughs> Those little arts in the background there. Well, I've clicked on like everything I can think of. This game really doesn't give you anything to go off of. Take? I can use take on this weird thing? It'll probably come alive and bite you. So no, I suppose not. Do I try and use a hint? Your friend is triggered by your alien appearance. You'll have to look around for a disguise to appease his sensibilities. Yeah, at this point I'm just gonna break off his horns and wear them. No one else has been helpful in any way so far. We just step back outside? Is there things in this big junk pile that would be of more use? Wait, I think I see something. Is it the gigantic bug? I see it too. Ta-da! Wait, so going inside that house and looking through everything was unimportant? They look just like horns. Wow, they really do. What, were they giant candy cords? Or like... What was that, actually? Uh, pylons? Was my other instinct? Well, perhaps we can take them to, like, the arts and crafts table now. And now that'll be of use. But I, I don't even have them in my inventory, as far as I can see, so I, so I don't know what to do. Should I put them on now? Mm, that might not be the best idea. We're lost in the wilderness. Anything could happen. That logic makes no sense. The main thing we're concerned about right now is getting caught not being a troll like everyone else. Blending in immediately seems important. If they got ruined before we got on the train, it'd be pretty bad. Okay, that logic is a bit better, but I still think you're being overly cautious. Let's just put them away until we know where we are. Good idea, Joey. You're so smart. Wait. That was your idea, Zephros. Was it? Yeah. And it was a good idea. Oh, wow. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. The first time that what's happened? That I've had a good idea. You know, Zephros, it was also your idea to find fake horns for my disguise. Really? <laughs> yeah. 
Two, I had two good ideas in a row. I'm on a roll. Yeah, but you also tried to get me to lick your arm, and you tried to touch those mushrooms, both to check if either one is poisonous, and you were fully willing to just put us all at risk for that. Little experiment. Those ideas were less good. All I'm saying is those good ideas are not consecutive. There's some bad ideas breaking up the flow there. Okay, uh, my third good idea is that we should get out of here right now. Now you're talking. Now we're back on the good idea train. But, you know, come on. Let's, c c come on. Come, come, come on. Ooh. I really like the look of these weird beehives. Oh, wow. I didn't know the cave would open up to such a cozy little farm. This place is adorable. Maybe your planet has some good things in it after all. Is it really... It seems like a bit much to just shit on his entire planet in one statement like that. You've experienced a tiny little fraction of it, you know? That'd be like getting off of the plane in a new country, walking through the airport, and then you see like a beautiful bird outside and you're like, oh, there's one good thing here. Everything else so far has been god awful. What a waste of a country. You know, you're judging a little too quick. Yeah, uh, we should be pretty close to the next station. If we can get through the forest up ahead, long distance local train stops have been regulated for six centuries to be spaced exactly eight capacitors apart from one another, which means we're coming up on it. Zephros, I have no idea what that unit of measurement could possibly equate to. Anyway, is this some kind of bee farm? The beehives are so cute. Yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume they're deadly. But where are the bees? Oh, do you guys have the happening <laughs> happening in this world as well? We need Mark Wahlberg on the case. Let's just keep walking. We don't want to get involved with anyone's private hive life. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, but I kind of do at the same time, and I'm gonna look and I'm gonna poke. Where are the bees? Okay, you're not allergic, but you aren't gonna poke beehives. <laughs> Again, you don't know if you're allergic to space bees. There's no real way to know that. There's liquid in these. It smells sort of fruity, juice, wine. Take a suckle. Guzzle it down. Okay, well, they look like regular bees here. Also, that rotating... Is that like a windmill or is that like a plant? Is that a living organism? It looks neat. You haven't seen a stage since your last dance recital. Oh, a cute little stage. I gotcha. In junior high, the one that ended in flames. Literal flames. You don't like to talk about it. Well, do we try and go inside? What a cute house. But the door is locked. You attempt to go in anyways because you refuse to be told what to do. Wait, don't look in the well. Huh? Why? It's filled with mind honey runoff. Mind honey runoff. It's pretty dangerous. It'll burn your view globes out of your head holes if you look at it. Just by looking at it, that's potent. Oh gosh, thanks for the warning there, there Zephros. I could have made a really big mistake. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But then are you just going to walk over and look at it too? Because you, you like the feel of it? It's like seeing how long you can stare at the sun for? Just try and challenge yourself a little bit? It's so complicated and delicate that it almost looks like art. So it's definitely like mechanical though. You can see it's definitely built out of like a multitude of things. But it's super neat. You actually could not even begin to guess what the heck that is. It smells sweet and a little bit rotten. So this giant mechanism is like probably grinding things or milling things the way a windmill would, but it is producing some sort of weird honey, and it's like the mined honey goes in the well and some sort of just sludgy residue goes out this intestine underground into the sack. That's, that's what I'm gathering from this the small amount I am seeing. Do you know what? Could, could you tell me a bit more about what's going on here? I hope we can catch the next train to Critias Island. Well, I was hoping, you know, you could troll explain some of this stuff to me so I could attempt to understand any of this world. Oh, maybe I should be switching characters though. Can I just get you to look in it instead? 
You take a brief peek down the well and, blech, you shouldn't have looked. You shuffle Joey away and resolve not to deal with it. <laughs> it didn't burn out your eyes, it was just kind of like, ugh. This probably moves whatever the heck that thing is. You take a closer look at whatever the heck that is. Fruit comes off the trees, goes into the press to become juice, and is poured out into these sacks over there. That's how the process happens, most likely. Why? You have no idea. That is no better than the, the made-up, attempted explanation I gave. Those are the woods. If they're anything like the woods in Outglut, you're in for a rough time of it. So, Joey lead the charge then. You, you, you look like you're, you're probably up to it, right? That's the right direction, so that's definitely where you need to go. Those woods are pretty dark, though. Joey, wait! Huh? What's wrong now? Don't tell me. Man-eating plants, giant moths that fire laser lasers out of their butts, bees, the dogs, the dogs that shoot bees out of their mouths whenever they bark, trees that have big angry faces on them and use their branches to attack poor defenseless travelers like the one part in Snow White, Actually, yeah, you nailed it. Wow, Joey, you're so smart. It was Walt Disney from Alternia, perhaps. Ugh, you can't be serious. Not only do you have this crazy heir to some kind of space throne trying to kill everybody, your trees are also trying to kill everybody? Yeah, it builds character. Jeez, this planet sucks. <laughs> So now how do we get through this forest? Well, when Tetrarch Damic had me pass through strange areas as a test of the flame of my inner strength, he rubbed me down with tusked vertebrae slurry so I could blend in with the local fauna. What is that? T tusked what? <laughs> Half of Zephros's lines are just a string of incomprehensible alien nonsense, and then Joey just gets to be the stand-in for us just being like, come on, man. Help me out here. Somehow we have this entire overlap of our, our languages. And it's like the Venn diagram. So much of it. 90% of it is overlaps. And there's just no way for him to know as he's speaking what stuff is and isn't going to be utter gibberish. Oh, well, honestly, it's better if you don't know. He, he never wants to actually explain it to us either. He gets all embarrassed just because his language is garbage. Anyways, basically applying any critter waste to ourselves from the local area will work. Crushed up bee carcasses, arachno sac fluid, that sort of thing. So either the big cockroach, although that thing was a, a lucis, I believe, if I'm understanding the term lucis correctly. <laughs> so probably we need the bees. We have to smell like the forest. Oh, or the sack of smelly fluid. That would also work well. Ugh. This is such a gross detour. Yeah, sorry you have to deal with it. Well, I'm sure it seems like Zephros is just enjoying it. Another day in his terrible life. Let's take a look around for some stuff to rub on ourselves so we can pass through the forest without getting eaten by giant trees or bugs or whatever this nonsense was that you warned us about. Huh. And I, I think I'll just start with a gross sack. You actually could not even begin to guess what the heck's in it. I just I, but I want some. Just hook me up. Just take like a, a nice a, a nice scoop full of it. Take, grab, consume, utilize, anything like that really. Do you have a hot take on this stage? There are lights and a curtain. You wonder why there's a stage here, but well, you're not about to ask. You could though. I'm asking. You could ask. It smells like something is fermenting. Kind of globesy to do out in the opening like this. Is Globesy kind of like big cojones? <laughs> That's what I'm gathering from that statement. Poke. Poke the beehive. It's not nice to mess with someone else's house, even if they're not currently home. Now, do you mean you're messing with this house, or you're messing with the bees' house? Because I don't quite understand, but I like the, the commitment to being, you know, polite about all of it. I, respecting nature, even if nature is insane, you know? Well, you could go back into the Freaky Deaky Artist hovel, but what would be the point? Everything in there was totally useless. Yeah, but I was kind of wondering about the, the big weird bug. What about all this? These, like, bags of money hanging on the trees. 
There was a fruit tree in your neighbor's yard. He used to make pies out of it, and sometimes he'd give you a slice. He's dead now. Murdered. For discovering the secret of ultimate pie, pie flavor. <laughs> the government couldn't allow it. Looks like some kind of weird fruit tree orchid. They probably have a weird name. Orchard. Weird fruit tree orchard. That's got to be like the ninth time in the many years of this channel that's come up. I cannot say that word. I get it wrong every time. And the flower? Get it wrong every time. It's a lose-lose scenario for me specifically. <laughs> okay, if you try to poke any of the beehives, you just go running back to the, the one on the far side there. Well, it comes down to looking for a key. We could just break in? What? Is that for us? That's a crime. It's fine. The owner probably won't be coming back anytime soon. Ah, oh, another great idea. <laughs> this roll really isn't stopping. Oh, it's just straight up boarded up over there. I wonder if it got bombed or something. Or just poor housekeeping. Or new renovations. Looking to expand. Maybe he downgraded. Took out a section of the house. <laughs> Had to patch up the hole. That doesn't make it okay. Yeah, you were prepared to steal things and leave behind a spoon earlier. That's just as bad. And we, yeah, we just broke and entered. Just because it was a curtain didn't mean it wasn't a house. It's not like we're going to steal anything. We're just going to look for something to help us get through the forest. Take what we need and get out. Like what we did in the caves. Yeah, that morality has just really gone out the window. But how are we going to get inside without breaking anything? I don't want to ruin someone's nice home. I can just jostle the lock with my mind. It's a primitive tech lock hinge, so even my terrible psychics can do it. Wait, what? My psychics. Were you not paying attention the last time this came up? Sephiroth, hold on. Do you have psychic powers? Yeah? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Why didn't you tell me? Do humans not have those? No. Why does everyone on the planet have psychic powers? No, not everyone. I think they're kind of uncommon, actually. What sci-fi movie is it where a limited percent of the population has psychic powers and, like, some people can, you know, like, lift a lighter and they just do it as, like, a parlor trick? Looper. Is it Looper? It's totally Looper. The, the way it pays off in that movie is incredible. Great movie. Go watch Looper. Awesome sci-fi. No, not everyone. I think they're kind of uncommon, actually. But Burgundies tend to be, like Burgundies, like the blood, <laughs> tend to be more receptive to the mind stuff, so you can find a lot of gutter blood trash with weak sauce telekinetics, <laughs> including me. And we also have low self-esteem and like to make fun of ourselves. Make fun of slash just like dump all over. It's still really cool. No, it's not. Troll telekinetics who are actually cool can fire mind beams and command ghost armies and stuff. But usually the jade bloods cull or indoctrinate the good ones before they pupate. I'm just one of the bad ones they left behind. Well, Zephros is somebody who lives on a planet where psychic powers are only in Star Wars and horror movies and stuff. I think you're the bee's actual knees. I'm hoping that phrase translates over here. Funny to mention, mention literal Star Wars and not, you know, like space battles or some like abstract funny reference, but not quite on the nose like that. Wow. I want to see you open the lock with your cool Jedi mind powers. We're just going all in with it. It's fine. Okay, sure. Just switch characters to me and use my telekinesis powers. Yes, I, I can and will do that. And this is kind of like his lightsaber then, isn't it? Here goes nothing. I've never had such unquestionable confidence thrown at me before. <laughs> uh, whew. Uh, it should be open now. Wow, that actually worked. They need to invest in better home security. That's so cool, Zephros. Like, I don't think you believe me, but I really truly mean that. You're very cool. You're right. I don't believe you at all. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel weird breaking and entering, though. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure the owner won't mind. 
You're right. You've convinced me that in no way do we need to concern ourselves with it. It is fine. Oh my god. That bee is ginormous. And I, I must know more. I guess I'll play as Zephros for a little while. Why not? It's a lamp. I love lamp? Wow. Someone who keeps their food in their food closet. Incredible. <laughs> so organized. It's comforting to know that you're not the only one who needs supplementary materials made to remind you how to do stuff you are actually supposed to be good at. <laughs> that is a weird thing with like textbooks and how we teach things in schools. You know, we, we make people memorize them, but realistically, for every other point in the rest of your life, you'll just have books available. Looks like an accident waiting to happen. You aren't tall enough to hit your head on any of those, but you'd manage it somehow. I'll just look for now. That must be the respite block. You won't go in. Is that like the, the bedroom? I don't recall my terminology. I need a glossary on hand. I need a Homestuck textbook. <laughs> At least your Lucis doesn't have to sleep in a cage. It would be such a pain to clean. Well, I don't think this one has to. It seems probably like it doesn't want to be in there. It looks like it's being caged in, like, barbed wire. You wonder what that's for? Well, you could always eat it and find out if it's poisonous. Is that a vegetable? You've never had any vegetables that didn't come out of a nutrition pod. Frankly, the idea makes you nervous. Just the fact that it might be good for you, not the poisons or anything. You don't really care for honey. It's sweet, but it's also chalky. I've never in my life considered honey to be chalky, and I still don't agree with that. And you never know when it'll blow your brain out the back of your skull. Not a common risk we have. Brain fruit. Yeah, it's a little brainy. <laughs> eh, you could take it or leave it. Take it. You don't want to get your fingers sticky. All right, that's a, it's an okay reason. More brain fruit. Gobble it up. No, it's uh, we've had enough of that. No, no need. Poke him? Seems rude. No thanks. He probably hasn't been fed in a while, and you want to keep your fronds intact. Fronds are fingers? I, I will guess, I suppose. We could try and go in the respite block. Absolutely not. Well, time to swap out then and poke around. Pretty well stocked. You don't rec recognize much. It's a guide to bee dances. Are these dances based on bees or dances for bees? The world may never know. Anyway, you can't reach it. Well, it'd be fun to learn a bee dance to try and do for this guy or to use in like a battle. It's a weird lamp. Why can't nothing here be normal? Ain't nothing normal nowhere. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna react well to the brain fruit. Is that, is that a brain? It's full of seeds, so you don't think it is, but you've actually never seen what a real brain looks like. You hope it isn't full of seeds. Only one way to find out. Hungry, but not that hungry. Some sort of alien honey science going on over here. It's frankly baffling. It seems like just regular old honey science, you know? None of the none of the advanced kind. Oh, neat. It looks like one of those cornucopia baskets, like the kind you see in Thanksgiving specials. You're not sure how edible it is. Well, B, that's a bug. A big old bug in a cage, a bug cage, a cage for bugs. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for like a pun to come up or something. Nope. All right, I think uh, we just go on in. This must be a bedroom. Sleep station, rest square. Uh, it's probably got some sort of silly name. Yes, and it's stupider than any of the ones you just pitched. You aren't about to just walk into some strange bedroom in a house you broke into. Your dad raised you better than that. <laughs> Well, no, he didn't, but you still aren't doing that. Yeah, our dad was a bit of a loser, wasn't he? Those are nice, though you aren't sure if they're actually supposed to be decor or for something else. Maybe they're herbs? Well, <laughs> you talked us into going in here. I just needed to confirm who it was. Who knows in this mysterious household? I'd like you to pitch us an idea of what to do now. All this honey looks different from what I'm used to on Earth. Something's off about it. I'm not sure how it works on your planet, but here, Mind Honey powers the electrical grid and is also a drug. Sort of? 
Weird. Now let's go ahead and just start slapping that all over our bodies, right? That was the eventual direction of where we were going with all this. You only insult it by implying that it's a pet. Its taste in Pogs is... It doesn't like Pogs. Spice makes it sneeze, so it doesn't like spice mix. It doesn't like birds. The feeling is mutual. It doesn't want medical attention. Oh, its scientific name is Bee Friend. That's very nice. How cute. It looks like they are known for vomiting when they get excited. Reminds you of your babysitter's cat. <laughs> well, I'm sure that could be useful in some way, right? Those are nice. You know, the big old bulbous thing on the roof. Real, real top notch. Though you aren't sure if they're... Oh, it's the same for any, any of the stuff on the roof. Okay, fair enough. Well, time to start dancing? It ignores you. Perhaps it considers tap a degenerate, bastardized form of dance. Perhaps. It ignores you. Perhaps it considers ballet an antiquated, pretentious form of dance. It's really judgy, isn't it? Better not. No telling what might happen. I'm assuming you can't use this on this door. No door can resist your mind powers. On the other hand, you don't want to waste your mind powers on doors. Maybe not every door you ever come across. We can be a little choosier about which doors, you know. Uh, a, a bee. Oh, it's like I, was, I thought it was a tennis racket. No, it's obviously a, a bug net. Well, would you care for a song? It wonders what you're playing at and ignores you. Doesn't like fun leisure activities. Doesn't like sports. Doesn't like grub juice. Like at all. But what do you like, man? I'm kind of sick of it. You would never beat an inoffensive wasp loosus around the head and shoulders. Maybe maybe around the butt? Maybe in the butt area? Can I can I like rip that open and, and let him out? Probably hasn't been fed in a while. And you want to keep your front yeah, well I'm pretty well fresh out of ideas. Oh well, the game obviously introduced that to me for a reason. I was just too dumb to pick up on that. That should have made a lot more sense, especially when both characters are like, wow, this is so interesting. Too bad we can't reach it. Yeah, should have uh, should have picked up on that more quickly. <laughs> that was a fun little dance, little flutter. You flip through the book. Amazing. An endless font of knowledge, like a, like a fountain, <laughs> pertaining to the ambition of ambulation of bees. You've learned a new dance. Oh, we can bee dance. That was exactly what I wanted. Oh, that was it. That was that's part of the bee dance. I love it. That reminds me of like a like a, there's like a sitcom where a character gets tricked into thinking they're a bird or something and they fly around like that. You dance your heart out, give them some real razzle dazzle and finish with an award winning pose. Lip shits. But all this big bee does is hiss at you. Tough crowd. Well, yeah, I do feel kind of ripped off there. Wow, I didn't know I was in the company of a professional prima ball reaper. That makes it sound much more cool and hardcore. <laughs> Thanks, I think. Your dance was really good, but why waste it on lowbrow cultural rabble like me? Well, we were trying to do it for that high class bee up there. That thing that outranks you as a being. <laughs> it was for the bee, you know. Learn a bee dance, perform it for a bee, it, it makes sense, right? He didn't seem to like it, but I'm glad you did. Yeah, luckily I've got both view globes in full working order. I bet this wasp loosus didn't respond because you're a freaky alien who looks like she has a skin disease and got her horns horrifically amputated due to having soft fatty cheeks like a grub that should have been cold immediately upon birth in the brooding caverns. Thanks? Actually, if, if this Lucis gets enough visual stimulation, maybe that'd trigger the kind of response we want. Huh? I'm so sorry, I I'm just thinking my dumb thoughts out loud. It means nothing. Maybe you should try putting on some fake horns to look more like a troll? Maybe the wasp would like your dance then? Oh, we could use the traffic cones I picked up. That's a great idea. These shells look like horns too. The cornucopia things? I could also use those corns as fake horns, I guess. Wow, it's an even better idea. Oh gosh, I'm getting choice overload. What a monumental decision. 
Which horn should I wear? <laughs> what a beautiful place to leave this episode. <laughs> this choice will weigh heavy on all of our minds for, for years to come. Or, you know, like 24 hours when the next episode gets uploaded. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. I should also clarify I'm going to keep playing, so, like, I'm making the choice now. Feel free to comment which you would have picked, but the choice is going to already be made by the time this video is uploaded. 